G'day. Paul here, down at the beach. And we're continuing our reading through the Gospel of Mark in chapter 14 from verse 53. This is leading up to Good Friday. They took Jesus to the high priest and all the chief priests and the elders and the teachers of the law came together. Peter followed him at a distance right into the courtyard of the high priest and there he sat with the guards and warmed himself at the fire. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for evidence against Jesus so they could put him to death, but they did not find any. Many testified falsely against him, but their statements did not agree. Then some stood up and gave this false testimony against him. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with human hands and in three days will build another not made with hands. Yet even then their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent and gave no answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? I am, said Jesus, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. The high priest tore his clothes. Why do we need any more witnesses, he asked. You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as worthy of death. Then some began to spit at him. They blindfolded him and they struck him with their fists and said, Prophesy! And the guards took him and beat him. This is a kangaroo court, as we'd call it in Australia where false evidence is put forward and everybody soon makes a decision that he is guilty. Sadly, this was uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who gave himself for us that we might be set free. This is his trial. And uh, we just need to meditate on that, think about that, what he went through, being spat on, being punched, they weren't game enough to punch him without him being blindfolded, I noticed. They blindfolded him and then punched him, spat on him, and eventually they take him out and crucify him. So you get into the Word and just meditate on what's happening here in Mark chapter 14 and let the Word of God get into you. God bless you now. From Coolan Beach, see you later.